Hotel Thugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome into my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family. Just thank you so much for watching the video, sharing, you know, dropping your lines when you can or, you know, just let me know how you resonate with the video is greatly appreciated. And with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. Also, if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please like and subscribe. You can hit that notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. Also, if you um, are comfortable enough, please drop me a line or two. I love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me, even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video, or you just up tell me about your impact, the gift, and how it impacts your life and heading you towards a positive direction. Also, if you feel like the video is just gave you good vibes or good information, you would love to share with a fellow empath or just somebody who's really going through something right now and just need the words of encouragement, go ahead and share. And while you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like, and also share on social media favorites wherever you see fit. And thank you so much for stopping by my channel and showing so much love and support. It makes me truly feel blessed. And I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. Today is... Uh, my meditation music is about powerful brain healing sounds, remove mental blocks and negativity, brain massage, uh, massage meditation music, and I will post that link in the description box below. Um, and today my video is about Twin Flame 101, hey okas, remember challenge your limits. Yeah, it's like sometimes we put limitations on ourselves and we really should not do that. We should be able to challenge ourselves every day. It's like, you know, since I've stopped smoking and everything, I've been having a bad habit of wanting to eat sweets and sodas and stuff like that. And so I've been working out and it's like when I walk you know throughout my neighborhood sometimes these dogs get loose and I'm just like oh you know I don't want my my walking to be disrupted especially when I see animals I love them to death but when you see pit bulls and stuff like that you're like oh lord you know I'm not trying to be no nobody's meal you know be no animals meal and you know it, it's just like okay when I see them out there I'm like you know you know what they might not be harmful but I'm not trying to test that theory okay so it's just like I always try to find me a different route or just make sure I got something with me just to you know defend myself and just in case that happens and you know now I'm starting to you know I usually do my Brazilian uh, butt lift workout that challenges me but since I'm like OCD and I got ADD as well you know I, I get tired of repetitiveness I got to do something else so I'll get really bored and won't do it so I went back to my turbo jam by Shalene Johnson I really loved it because it doesn't feel like you're working out with her and that is like last night I did like 120 minutes of it last night well almost a little bit more than that but I had so much fun it was just like you know what you can keep this up you, you know because it's like since I stopped smoking, I gained a little bit of weight. So it's just like, you know, I'm so used to being small for so long. And then when I picked up this weight again, you know, it, it can make you feel depressed when you start gaining weight and stuff like that, especially for a woman. Um, and it's just like, it gives me, it gives me that boost of momentum, you know, having fun, being able to, you know, do things that, you know, just get my mind off of situations that you can't control. And it is just like, you know, you should never put a limit on yourself. You know, you always challenge yourself each and every day when you know you're going towards something is something you might be scared to do. Challenge yourself about that. Don't ever put limitations on it because, you know, there are certain rules and regulations, you know, things people just sometimes they put, you know, rules out for something because they want to control somebody. I don't like nobody trying to control me. I'm like, no, uh, -uh. you know, you anytime you say no, that's no doesn't mean no it means next opportunity just because you say no i can go around and do it some, somewhere else like i wanted to do my dad's uh song uh what is it damn you for a minute but i had to be able to get around it a certain way to be able to use the beats to it just to say okay i'm singing a cover because any other than that you know i love to put my dad in the video or whatever like he's there with me but if the song isn't about me, they'll, you know, it'll copyright. So there's always a reason. You know, there's always a way around something. So it's just like YouTube got their little thing where they don't like to control certain situations as well. You know, where I'm seeing other YouTubers having issues and stuff like that as well. But it is what it is. You know, I just feel like, you know, I get upset because numbers will change and stuff like that. And I'm like, okay, it, it, it just seems like they're just trying to control situations. 
but then I said you're missing a bigger picture of things don't allow the little things that people do to try to control you on taking you away from the gift that you're trying to push out to people and I had to keep tell, reminding myself of that because this is not about numbers this is about helping other people because you know what I do it helps a lot of people it's gonna bring people to awareness that people are waking up left and right and they're trying to figure out what's going on with themselves and knowing you know they're going through certain things but things are guiding them towards my way so it's just like regardless on what people say anyway or what they try to control you know I'm gonna still keep doing me because at the end of the day I'm gonna get blessed regardless so it's just like I can't control you know I can't sit up here and put myself down you know, because of what other people keep doing, you know, because there's a lot of times I wanted to just stop doing what I'm doing. But I said, Rosalind, look at the comments you're getting. Look how many people you're helping. People are trying to put understandings to things that they're trying to go through and you're giving them that understanding. You don't want to give up doing that because it helps a lot of people. And that's how I had to really look at it when I said that was like five, five, five. And, um, you know, going through that is a true blessing for me. So I challenge myself all the time because it's just like, you know, not everybody's going to like me okay that's fine you know not everybody's gonna believe me you know there's things that's been said about me and there's times I gotta laugh about it because I'm just like you know how do you know I'm lying you know if you are who you say you are you don't know if I'm lying or not I don't have no reason to lie about anything everything I've been through is very true and authentic so it's just like I base my life experiences off of putting my videos out you know and just you know when the universe is guiding me to say you know what let these people know the things you're going through you never know who relates to this you know your issue you know your 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 backstory and what you're telling you never know what people are going through that they might relate to it and it'll make it'll make them feel a lot comfortable a lot more comfortable and that's the blessing within itself to me you know just to know I'm not alone there's things that I've gone through that I'm just like am I the only one going through it and just be able to say you know what people are like Rosalind you, your videos are right on point I'm getting you know I'm going through this like back 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 right along with you and that's a blessing like that's a blessing within itself so I challenge myself you got to challenge yourself every day anything that you're going through or you're trying to head towards don't allow people's negativity or stupidity that's around you to throw you off your game don't allow that to happen because that's what they want to do you know don't allow that devil in the darkness to get you know to win because that's what they do you know because when the devil and the darkness know you're heading towards something big and bright they will throw ignorant people in your life drama filled folks in your life or have people come in your life that definitely don't need to be there you know there's people out that has contacted me or they'll come up in my head like oh you want to call them and see how you don't know the heck you don't you remember all the things that you don't went through with this person you know if, if it's meant to be in your life it'll be in your life if not it'll be taken out so keep doing you whatever you're heading towards don't give up on it you know if somebody tells you, you can't do it this way there's always a way around something just go a different route you know just because this road might be blocked don't mean if you turn around and go through this way this road's gonna be blocked because it's just like you're letting the universe know yeah this might not have happened but there's sometimes the universe and gotta put something in your direction or put something in your path just to see you know they say they really want this situation they really want to go for this but let me see how much it's worth to them because if it's this you know this is this and this is how much you know is important to them they're not gonna give up they might get pissed off they might get frustrated but they're gonna find another way to get around it so you that's what you do you do that for yourself never give up on the things that you want I keep telling y'all that because there's times you know you want to walk away from things you know you get fed up you want to give up you know it gets frustrating at times you are trying to understand why do I got to keep going through stuff like that trust me things will be put up in your you know in your situation just to test you I have to tell some of my love bugs that you know we are being tested every day just to see how much is this worth to you you know you're going through a twin flame situation you're working your hardest to get into that physical union but there's more things that keep coming up back and back to back to back to make you want to give up you can't do that you when you're on a situation like that you need to let you need to tell yourself this is a important important an important situation to have to go through your twin flame needs to know that you know you're willing to take that risk with them from the 
the, the bad times and the good times. You got their back. You're going to support them as they do support you. They're sending that love and energy towards your way, just like you need to send it back to them. You know, you, you need to know you're not going to be quick to give up on something like that because this is something that you really work for. And if it's meant for you, oh, the universe is not going to let you give up because it's like anytime you feel like you don't want to think about them, you're like, okay, I feel like I'm obsessing over him over them or over her or you know over him you know there'll be something that'll stop in your life you know come in your path that reminds you of everything to them if it's not their birthday it'll be a certain number or be a certain saying or something that you've heard or it, be, it, it can even be a song that you might hear that when you know it, it reminds you of that person that you really truly care about so if it's meant for you to have this in your life trust and believe universe is not going to let you give up about it it might let you take a break but it ain't going to let you give up so i hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video tell as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can know that you are truly blessed highly favored and forever loved and knowing there's always someone out there praying for your better days and i definitely pray for y'all so i hope y'all have a blessed safe weekend be responsible and safe for everything you do and you know i know if y'all have this off time for the weekend yeah, just relax and have fun you know do something that you you enjoy doing because you know you only get two days to do it <laughs> so be able to enjoy yourself on those two days so um i'm gonna give a post notification shout out to norman smith uh mahalo i know he was like teaching me some new hawaiian words which i really love october 31st lover Hey, that's my favorite day as well. And um, Christine Mize, much love to you. And, you know, send out much love and light. Like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell. Drop me a line. I love the chance to hear from you. You know, let's, especially give me a line. I mean, not give me a line. Give me a comment to let me know how you're going with this video or, you know, the things you experience in life that you can relate to this as well. And it will greatly be appreciated. And I'll see you on my next video. Much love. Peace. Wow.